Hello everyone, my name is Professor McCoo. Welcome to Firework 101. What's firework? I'm glad you asked. A firework is like a chemical substance when smoke and light comes together. 2,000 years ago, a Chinese cook known as a chemist. Well, he was working on things about light and belief. But he accidentally knocked down some mm. salt, pepper, and charcoal. When he said that those three ingredients went into a fire with bamboo, it literally exploded right in his face, his hand, his eyebrow. But it does scare the evil spirits. So, so they put black powder into the bamboo and rose into the fire and all the gases created and burst through the bamboo. They call it firecracker or they used to say Chinese fire, Chinese cracker. Today you have example like rocket type cracker where they use for some recent light Labor Day, Independence Day. I said but I had a sample for this. In modern time this is not bamboo, this is a real rocket firecracker. As you see, this is a light charger and it goes up to the fuse and it travels up to the black powder and it makes it blows off with the top of the rocket and compile and you can see stars full colors. How do you make colors? Well, Come closer, let me tell you a secret. It's all about heat metal salt. But the question is, what kind of salt do you need for it? Well, you have, to, you have to find out later. As you can see, all of, all of these colors are made by energy and weight As you can see, these colors are high energy equals short wavelengths versus Low energy equals long wavelengths. Back to the rockets. Another energy is potential energy. A potential energy is like a stored energy. It's sitting there. It's not moving. It's it's like the fuse is connected to black powder, and it's sitting there, and it's waiting to launch up to the sky. It's called kinetic energy. It's like moving in motion when you lift the, the fire to the, the bottom of the base, to the views, to the black powder, and it's heating up like all the gases, and it's ready to it force the lights to the sky, and that, that means you can see the full colors. Now, when you walk to what some places, like when you see fireworks, like the weddings, Celebration, Disneyland. I want you to understand, like, how mainly related to colors or the rocket structures and the heat and the atoms and electrons, how the chemicals work together. Oh my god, that was so amazing. But today, they use a real rocket like this, like, way bigger, and it helps the light charge to push out to the space. And they use missile by the militaries from two thousand years ago. From the, it was an accident to a bamboo stick to a fire to a fire works. You still use it today, but I'm not done yet. Let's review some questions I want to ask you. Question number one. KNO3 is a part of firework mixture. What are all these elements? Question number two. Can you name of the three original ingredients when I just told you? Question number three. Is Satan really important? Why is it important? Think about what happened earlier when I talked about, about the Chinese cook discovering fireworks.
the cold from heating and metal salt like calcium, chloride, or sodium nitrate. The energy stored by the atoms moves around. The colors from heating metal salt like sodium, chloride, and these colors are made by energy and weight links. As you can see, these colors are low energy equals high. I mean, low